Hey, Tigers. This is your sad principal, Mr. Wilds. Sad for a number, number of reasons. Sad because I heard Governor Pritzker's news today. Sad because the state of Illinois has changed the guidance on remote learning. And sad because I miss you. Very quickly, uh, the state of Illinois has changed this time frame from e-learning to remote learning. So yesterday, March 30th, it was called e-learning. Moving forward, March 31st and, and beyond, it's called remote learning throughout the district. There are a few things that are different in remote learning, uh, but a few things that are the same. And I want to give you a couple reminders about the week. This is the same. Teachers will be posting assignments, activities with their due dates on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in your, in your Google Classrooms by 9 a.m. Your teachers may also be assigning you work to do on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but they will indicate that on their Monday, Wednesday, and Friday postings. Additionally, your teachers are going to be providing you office hours to deliver instruction, engage in class discussions, and provide you with opportunities for feedback on your course progress. As a student uh, in the e-learning, it's now called remote learning, you should expect to spend about three hours in remote learning work every day. Every day. Not just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but every day. Biggest question is when is remote learning going to end? Governor Pritzker today around 2 o'clock announced that the stay-at-home order will continue throughout the month of April and that all schools are going to remain closed. I'm really sad because though it has not been officially announced by the state or the district, I'm starting to wrap my head around this reality, but you should, we should all start preparing for the reality that we will remain in remote learning for, for the rest of the school year. Now a few updates on uh, some major changes in grading. The state of Illinois has recommended this to be the, the change, and District 401 has elected to follow ISB's recommendation to issue all grades during remote learning on a pass and complete basis. What does this mean? Grades for the current term, quarter four and semester two, will be reported on a pass and complete basis for a P or an I grade. Students will not be receiving a traditional ABCD letter grade at the end of the semester. Quarter classes will keep your traditional quarter three traditional grade but for fourth quarter grades will be a PI grade. Semester classes, you will keep your quarter three grades as traditional grades, but your fourth quarter grades will be PI grades, and students will be issued an overall semester P or I grade. What's really important to note is that past and incomplete grades do not impact a student's GPA or, or class rank. They are simply an indicator whether or not credit has re been received and a course has been completed on your transcript. So what is the high school's pass criteria? So the, the high school has created a pass criteria for all classes. Teachers are going to continue to assign, collect, and grade student work and store that work in PowerSchool. These grades will be considered as grades in progress for the fourth quarter and the semester. At the end of the semester, if a student's grade in progress ends in a 60% or higher, a student will receive a grade of pass. If a student does not turn in an assignment, the teacher will mark that assignment as missing in PowerSchool and may place a zero in the gradebook for that assignment. As a student, you are expected to complete and submit that missing assignment. Any graded work that is below a 60% may be marked as incomplete by your teacher in PowerSchool and your teacher may require you to redo it. Really important for all of you students, all of you have the opportunity to redo, make up, or try again to complete, show progress, or attempt to complete work assign you during and also prior uh, to the remote or the e-learning. I know that it's, we talk a lot about grades and, and passing and, and this stuff, but it's really, really important that grades and passing is far less important to us than, than the notion that, that continuing to learn and grow as a person is so important. Knowledge and skill development is far, far, far more important to us than, than any grade that you've received. Questions about attendance. Uh, during remote learning, this is again guidance from the state, your teachers are going to be basing your attendance on participation and work completion. Your participation effort and work completion will help your teachers determine whether or not you receive a pass from incomplete grade for each class. Our teachers, counselors, social workers, and administration will reach out to families of students who are not participating and, work, and completing work regularly to see if you need any additional support from us. Finally, as always, for questions and updates, and these seem to be coming almost daily, please visit our district's website and or follow us on Twitter for any of those questions and also for updates. Students, I know that this is super uh, disappointing to hear about stay-at-home order extending in April, 
and the, the great changes. But I want everybody to continue to stay healthy, stay in social distancing, try your best, continue to work, and continue to grow, continue to learn. We love you. We miss you. We can't wait to see you again. And even though I'm sad, I'm so proud of all the work that the students and the staff have been doing for this district. I'm so proud to be wearing this shirt and this goofy hat. And I just want to tell you, we love you, we miss you, and go Tigers.